and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Monastery. We have a real unique deck here for Meme Tier Monday. We're going to be playing a lot of Time Bombs, hopefully, if things go right. We got Zillion as our only champion. Zillion, of course, whenever you play it, you create four Time Bombs into the deck. And so what we're going to try to do is play a lot of Zillions and then get lots of Time Bombs in our deck. So besides just having our regular Zillions, we're going to be combining it with Monastery of Hirana. That's the Monastery part of our deck. Round start, create a Sanctuary in hand. One spell mana to recall an ally, so we can recall Zillion and replay Zillion and get more Time Bombs. So we'll have that combination. Obviously that's a lot of mana and really slow, um, so we're going to have to be able to do some other stuff. But that's going to be part of our deck. We're also going to have Dancing Droplet in here. If you recall this, you get to draw a card. And, of course, it also has the Attune, so it refills one spell mana whenever you play it. So Dancing Droplet goes perfect with Monastery of Hirana, because you use the one spell mana to pick it back up. You play it, you get your spell mana back, and you get to draw a card. So you basically one mana, draw a card. And if we have a bunch of Time Bombs in our deck, spending one mana to draw a card can help dig us to find more Time Bombs. So then we can play more Time Bombs. So that's a cool combination to like help, help us draw a lot of cards to get to Time Bombs. We also have Shadow Assassin in here, a little bit more expensive, but same kind of thing. You can uh, spend three mana to draw a card, bounce it, play it again, draw another card. Same kind of thing, it's more expensive though. Uh, we got Retreat Return, where like Retreat can put Droplet back into your hand, and then for one mana you can return the Shadow Assassin back into play, draw a card. <laughs> Alright, so if we're drawing a lot of cards, we also have Preservarium, drawing cards. Uh, not only do we have all the time bombs in the deck, but we're also going to have Xenotype Researchers that can uh, buff up random allies in our deck with the plus three, plus three. And then we're drawn, drawn enough cards, hopefully we can find them. Um, but then Researchers is another card that's pretty awesome to recall it, put it back into play, give more plus three, plus three. So you can get a bunch of plus three, plus threes <laughs> in your deck, and then randomly you just draw, you know, like a 10-10 Dancing Droplet or something. <laughs> so that could be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, what else are we doing? Um, we also have cards like Homecoming, more ways to recall. Um, go get it. We can recall our own uh, ally, then put an ephemeral copy in its place, make it cost zero, play another one. So go get it with you know Xenotype Researchers, puts another Xenotype Researchers into play, so there's another plus three, plus three for three things. And then you, we have the original one that costs zero, replay it again, more plus three, plus threes. You know, go get it could work really well with some of these cards. Um, but even Go Get It with Zillion allows us to replay Zillion again and get more, four more Time Bombs. So we're going for lots and lots of Time Bombs. And then basically, yeah, our opponent has 20 Nexus Health. That's 20 Time Bombs. <laughs> uh, let's see. Time in the Bottle can advance a Time Bomb immediately. So like we can focus speed, get the advancement of, the, of a Time Bomb and surprise our opponent and do you know one damage to all their stuff. Uh, so we just got one of those in there. Ride a Calling can help us find the Zillion. But then finally, we have Zephyr Sage. Zephyr Sage um, is another card that's a really good card to pick back up because we, you know, we can um, play Zephyr Sage, we create an exact copy of a card in hand. So either we find like a unit that's buffed up a whole lot with researchers, and then we make a copy of that unit that's buffed up a lot, so then we can, cut, we can, re we can play that, or we make a copy of Time Bomb. And so if we have a Time Bomb in hand, we Zephyr Sage, make another Time Bomb, so now we got two Time Bombs in hand. Um, and then we can Monastery, pick the Zephyr Sage back up, get more Time Bombs. It costs a lot of mana, but it's a way for us to make lots of Time Bombs. <laughs> and that's kind of what our deck's all about. So it seems like a really sweet meme tier deck. And, uh, you know, is it the best deck in the format? No. But this is a really unique and really cool looking deck. So let's go play our games in normal. Hopefully we don't play against, like, aggro decks that run us over too fast. Hopefully we have time to set up all these different combos and... Uh, do all these recall cards and stuff like that. Yeah, this is a this is a spicy one. Hey, what's up, Turn1Zoe? Hope you're doing good. What's the unit that gets bigger when it's seen in a prediction? Uh, Kahiri. Yeah. Yeah, Kahiri is that unit that get, can keep getting bigger. All right, Zed with Freljord Ionia. So Zed with Freljord Ionia means that's going to be an elusive deck. So I'm actually going to mulligan the researchers because I'm going to keep these elusives and I don't want to keep just all three mana units. Ugh, I don't like that ride of calling. Yeah, so bounce decks tend to be very slow, which ours will be also, but they are a elusive aggro deck. So we're playing a slow deck against elusive aggro. That, you know, 
Could be a bad combination. But we shall see. Um, but that's true. The elusives are not good against time bomb. So it's going to be, you know, how lucky are we at finding time bomb? Hopefully our predict finds a time bomb. And Zillion can block Zed a little bit. Alright, time bomb. There it is. Let's grab it. I don't really need a time bomb, just those two things. Oh, that's great. We got a second time bomb. Man, our life's going pretty good. So that means next round we'll be able to go double time bomb. Could surprise them. They are playing the Freljord version, though. Like, the Freljord version plays a lot of... Um, a lot of, like... Elixir of Iron type cards, right? They can save their stuff. Of that I'm gonna we could play the other time bomb but I'm actually not going to yet Let's see if we can find another one there we go because I want it round start this turn back into a three two and now take the damage so now it's you know one health They can't respond to this. This just happened, so Zed's just dead. My opponent's playing Trevor Snoozebottom. I guess they never heard the saying, you snooze, you lose. I mean, I haven't either. I guess they're kind of free attacks. <laughs> Zed's dead. We'll make another dancing droplet. All right, so we'll get some researchers, get some extra copies of researchers. We can go get at the researchers and get a lot more plus three plus threes. No, I'm just gonna press varium. Ooh, Zephyr Sage with the plus three plus three. Cool little mumble sprite. Bye -bye. Our deck's already looking pretty sweet. Just have too many cool cards to play. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Look. Too many cool cards to play. Not enough room. Okay. 
We're just going to play Shadow Assassin over this Preservarium. I could play it over the 3 2, I guess. No, I'll just play it over the Preservarium. It draws the card anyway. We're, we have plenty of cards. So if I recall this, they still draw a card? Name. We gotta find another time bomb so we can make more time bomb copies. Strike quickly. You cannot escape. Sure. Ooh, Ancient Hourglass. Oh, I don't have the mana for the... Or I didn't have the room for the retreat. We have too much value over here. Too much value. <laughs> Poor opponent, just one card in hand. Uh, I guess a quicksand would be nice to have. Zephyr Sage cannot cannot target Zephyr Sage. Oh dear, who upset the Tower Guardian? Yeah, we're gonna have to burn the fleetings. It's fine. Oh, I guess we're burning that quicksand. Turn it like so. All right, attack. <laughs> we have just infinite value. We we can only go like we're only just like set back by the limitations of this game. Only six wide and only ten in hand. Otherwise we would be going <laughs> we'd be playing so many cards. These limitations are holding us back. Perfectly fine. Oh no, I I never have enough cards for the for the return. I always forget about having another spot for the return. I was gonna return the researchers. That doesn't work. Alright, cool, cool. Um I probably shouldn't be playing that second one because of the Zephyr Sage. I don't know, kind of felt like it. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. We have infinite cards. Which I guess I should instead of just replacing that 3-3, I guess I could have just ride a call and killed it and put a zillion in my hand. Which I should have. But, you know, we can just destroy a mana gem now, same thing. You cannot escape. Hmm. It's too late for you. Yep. <laughs> Opponent gives up. So how do we win? They, they'll just give up eventually, because we have so many cards. Zoe Yasuo. So they're going to be recalling all my stuff also? Okay, so... You're gone. 
I'll keep this. We got like this engine going with the Droplet Hirana engine. Homecoming, awesome for like when they, they play Yasuo, I bounce. Got a good engine going on for this Droplet. That's about finding Zillion. Sunhawked. Alright, we're probably just going to play the Monastery and get that in play right away. Zillion plus PNZ could work with copying Mystic Shot and get excited each round. That could be a lot of burn. I Alright, so we're basically done attacking with Droplet, right? Because I'm not going to attack, they hush the Droplet block. I don't want anything like that to happen. And it's just, it's one damage, it's just not worth it. Oh no, Moon Weapon? They're gonna do the three damage to the Droplet? No. I guess I should have played the Xenotype Researchers first. I didn't think they'd have the removal. Ionia Targon. Ugh. I probably just, okay, so I probably just should not have played the Droplet on round one, right? Like, there's no real reason to. I went, should have just waited until we had this. I mean, at least they, they spent four mana to kill my one drop, so I, I can't be too mad at that. For the guiltless. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. One blade, one purpose. Really? Attacking with the two three? That's not tamper proof. No mana? That's probably a waste my fate, your of my four mana bounce spell. Yeah, that's probably a waste. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. If we find something that's buffed up, it's gonna be buffed up. We're gonna we're gonna have some buffs on some stuff. On three Xenotype researchers in play so far. Four researchers so far. We've granted 12 random allies in our deck, plus 3, plus 3. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get something Nautilus-sized. <laughs> Definitely wish they didn't kill my Dancing Droplet. Alright, how big are you? 8-7? 8-7's pretty big. Make another 8 7 Shadow Assassin. Our deck isn't really designed to win. Our deck is just designed to like get a bunch of like really cool value. And it's like, well, how do you win? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> you just kind of win it eventually. That's why it's a meme tier deck. It's, this is sweet. It's like more of a formality that the game will eventually end than like what we're, than like actually trying to figure out how to win a game. My opponents <laughs> like looking at their cards like, what, is, what are these cards? Zephyr Sage, what is that? Yeah, we don't win. We draw cards into opponent submission, basically. Oh, 
Zillion's only a plus three, plus three. It's like every unit that we're drawing is going to have like some number of plus, <laughs> plus three, plus threes with all these researchers we already played. So only a four, seven Zillion. We could make another copy of four, four, seven Zillion with the Zephyr Sage. So we like this round, we could go Zephyr Sage, Zillion. My opponent may not be here anymore. I think I'll just, we'll just go single Zillion though. We don't need a, a copy. Another 8-7 Shadow Assassin? Is there such a thing as too many 8-7 Shadow, Shadow Assassins? Too bad my opponent conceded, or you know, like they uh, disconnected or whatever. Because we're doing some cool stuff over here. 8-7 <laughs> Shadow Assassin, drawing another 8-7 Shadow Assassin. That's how they should bring back Ionia, just make Shadow Assassin an 8-7. 3 mana... 8-7 elusive plus draw a card. So you basically get to see all the cool stuff that our decks do, and even though like our opponent, I don't know, they gave up or whatever. The dark beckons. Nice. Now they try to stun something, we hourglass it. Hourglass the Shadow Assassin so then it can resummon and draw another card. Our deck is amazing. My right, Greenglade Duo just couldn't. Yeah, Greenglade Duo would be a cool card for the deck, but couldn't really fit it in with all the other stuff that we need. I guess we'll just attack. You can see the potential of what we're doing. Recalling Xenotype researchers four times. Time is a teacher to us all. Time is a teacher to us all. Ooh, they're going to make a bunch of 8-8s. Eight Alright, can we handle a bunch of 8-8s? Eight that is the question. Um, Alright, I like Droplet. Chronomance are pretty good. Let's mulligan Shadow Assassin and go get it. Like, they're not bad cards, but we have better. Homecoming, very good against 8-8s. Eight eight Homecoming is definitely the card that I wanted to see more than any other, right? Because, like, even, like, they... Um, have, like, a landmark that has, like, you know, it's gone from, like, Countdown 8 to Countdown 3 or whatever, then just recall it. Start it over. Because, <laughs> remember, this can recall landmarks, too. Alright, so looking for Homecoming. We'll take a Homecoming. Uh, yeah, we don't really deal with the Watcher, per se. Oh, the Ice Shard. The Ice Shard of Death. We just try to keep them from getting a wa from a Watcher, I guess. That's the plan. Nice Blighted Ravine. I try. <laughs> All right, so now we'll play some Zillions. Get some time bombs. <laughs> they concede. Man, we were gonna have it like that. We were winning this game for sure, because yeah, like we're gonna find some time bombs with the zillions. Uh, basically, once we level up zillion, then we're like able to homecoming like every single round. Like they're never gonna get eight eights. Multiple Jarvins from your hand if you have the mana. Oh, I did not know that. Circus says today I learned that you can summon multiple Jarvins from your hand if you have the mana. So like if you, if you have like ten mana and you've used. Uh, like the thing that makes all uh, mobilize to make them all cost one less, so then your Jarvins cost five. Then you can put get two Jarvins in play. I didn't know that. Yeah, we were gonna be having infinite time bombs that game. 
Whoa. Zillion, you are my champion. Do you think opponent's going to be sad whenever this Buried Sun Disc is at like 4 and then we Homecoming and put it back in their hand? They could be sad. Oh, okay, you did it in the in the Lab of Legends. You had multiple Jarvins in hand with like cost reduction and Lab of Legends. I gotcha. Yeah, I mean, if it works there, I mean, I would assume it would work in normally. Maybe we need to make a mobilized Jarvin deck. Try it out. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. But can you rely on time bombs? All right, no time bomb. I'm just going to skip them all. We could Chronomancer. Meh. I'm just going to skip them all. Suitsayer. It's going to make my life more difficult. can plus three plus one but I kind of want zillion to die so we can play new zillion and put more time bombs in the deck Circuit with the donation deck. Mobilize, build a mobilized Jarvan deck. All right, will do. S U U R K Y Y Y. See if we can find a time bomb. Time bomb. All right, no time bomb, but Xenotype Researchers is interesting. Maybe we can take the Xenotype Researchers. Well, no, maybe we just send them all back. Yeah, I guess we just send them all back. I'm not sure if Xenotype Researchers is better than just a random card in the deck. I can Hourglass, the Zillion, and then play it, you know, play another Zillion yet again. Yeah, we'll just do that. All right, cool. See, we, we predicted and found a Time Bomb. All right, good. Now we can level up Zillion. Soloist Jarvan would be funnier than Mobilize. You could... <laughs> Why not both? <clears throat> Break up the spell shield of the Sun Disk. <laughs> No, what are you doing? Break up the spell shield of the sun disc. Like so. Sure. Whatevs. I can take it. I ain't scared. Yes, Xenotype researchers. Oh, they get the 2 2 afterwards. Alright, level up Zillion so we can get a bunch of researchers. All right, there's a homecoming. First homecoming for the spell shield. That's new. You're provoking it. Careful here, researchers. There's no rush. Seems like we're supposed to recall the dancing droplet to draw cards, but I kind of just want to recall xenotype researchers. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I guess we'll do. We don't need to do that. Never mind. Okay. Like, we, we have plenty of cards now, right? Because of Zillion. We got enough cards. This is probably this is probably bad, though. I probably should be doing the droplet and looking for time bombs. It's just so much value no matter what we do. No matter what we do, it's all value. Um, I don't 
really want to play Ancient Preparations, I don't think. If I play the Chronomancer, I don't get to predict. I guess maybe I have Ancient Preparations to predict. What we're we looking at next round, seven mana? All right, fine. We'll predict. <laughs> oh no, I have too many cards. No, the time bomb gets burned. I have too many cards. I should have played the one one. I shouldn't have predicted. No. Zillion, you are the master of <laughs> card advantage. Should have played. Should have played the preparations. <laughs> I know, puppy. We just created as many cards as our opponent has in their hand total. Dang, man, chill. All right, let's see. We got seven mana. We'll eventually find some big stuff for these re for this researchers. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. Really? When you're just like looking at these retreats in my hand? Like, what do you think I'm doing? damage on this thing. I could probably use this the spot cleared open. With arms wide open. I wish I would have had that time bomb. Opponents just don't have, they just don't have the, the stomach for the fight. They just see all this value on the other side and they're so jealous. They can't handle it. They are so jealous. All right, let's take it to ranked. When we're 4-0 with our meme tier decks, that means we go and try a game in ranked. So here we go, Zillion Monastery. I mean, I, I don't think our opponents are going to concede as, as easily. Lissandra Trundle. Well, we can't really stop the Watcher. So this this has got to be a bad matchup for us, right? Cause yeah, I don't, I don't know how we stop the Watcher. Yeah, it's the <laughs> so TLC the gate of all control decks. Yeah, this this deck's gonna hold us back. Cause we can bounce the watcher but then they just replay it because it costs zero we can create time bombs and put them into our deck Nothing escapes my watch. I'm kind of hoping we can put a bunch of um, get a bunch of big things in our deck with the xenotype researchers And I'm going to save some spell mana uh, for like these different kind of spells first instead of just drawing a card. Especially because I want to put give the plus three plus threes before I draw anyway. If only the Watcher ability just went on the stack and we could deny it. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. King of Trolls coming through. Man, opponent going aggro. Hmm. 
interesting reaction. I'll make a note. Safeguard our homes. Excuse us. <laughs> we had a five six chronomancer. Also, kind of takes the chronomancer out of my deck, so like these pluses don't hit chronomancer anymore. Because obviously, we kind of we need the pluses to hit the elusives. So I want to keep the conspirator, the elusive, into the deck, and uh, you know, maybe hit have our pluses hit that. Yeah, we just we just can't beat this deck. <laughs> like their their combo, like we can set up and do all this cool stuff, but when you have a combo like Watcher, it just doesn't doesn't matter if you can get all this value that we can. That's really just too bad. That's just too bad, you know. Some decks just can't beat other decks, and this one, unfortunately. Is one we can't really beat. Did I freeze time again? Have you two made any progress? The specimens chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. A little snow. Find the signal fires. Look at this. Nothing stopper than. So I'm not going to draw the time bomb either way. Like when once I play that and predict, I don't draw the time bomb anymore. But of course, with this matchup, we don't really need the time bomb. Cool. I love seeing the vengeance go away. Love seeing the vengeance go away. Even though I do have denies which are good against vengeance. I guess they can't watch her this round. At least have to wait around. Oh, well, just showing off. <laughs> Showing off with their Lissandras. Yeah, they don't have space for Matron anymore. It's a good call. Don't really have space for anything. We just need to find one of our elusives that's get buffed up a ton by Xenotype researchers. Like that's my that's my hope is that we can find an absolutely huge elusive. It's not easy to do, but that's the hope. I wish I could challenge one of those things. If we do find a really big um, elusive, maybe Zephyr Sage can make a copy of it also. Not into me. 
so this is it. We get one draw step. So our draw step, and so, you know, playing two more Xenotype Researchers, our draw step has to be a very big elusive. Because obviously, like, our deck's gone after this, right? So we have to hope it's an elusive that's gotten a bunch of hits from us playing million Xenotype Researchers. What's up, Sassin? Thank you so much. Okay. Well, here we go. Big elusive. Now a time bomb. Oh, that's our fifth sub of the day. Okay. So we get another card we can draw with the time bomb. Come on, big elusive. No. So close. I wonder how many Xenotype Researchers we actually played this game. It was a lot. I don't know exactly how many, but it was a lot. Uh, I guess just block there. That's fine. Oh, I guess, so let's see, we go to six. I'm gonna die to enough of ice shards. Wow, we were pretty lucky. Hit all time bombs. Have you two made any progress? This specimen's chromophores prevent tissue denaturation. So I'm kind of keeping deny available. I know I could go like the Zephyr Sage. I'm kind of keeping this deny available first. Feel the power of true ice. Is that the power of new of true eyes or whatever you said? Let's see what we hit this time. So that's that's a problem with going Zephyr to copy Zillion. Remember, I can still I can still like recall and stuff. Like we can still Zephyr to copy Zillion, but I want to have Deny available also whenever I do that. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I can't deny that. You will do as I command. Okay, that could be a problem. I mean, we have a lot of problems. We didn't we didn't find the elusive that I needed. That was my, my one chance was a big elusive. We didn't get that. Okay, so there we go. Four and one with Zillion Monastery. This deck was really fun. This is a really unique deck that was pretty cool with uh, Xenotype Researchers buffing up stuff um, and then getting tons of time bombs and you just get so much value with the Zillions and everything like that. Um, yeah, you're not gonna really beat the Watcher combo deck. That's, you know, you're not going to win that, that matchup, but that's just, um, that's fine. You know, like you, when you're playing, you know, unique decks like this that are, are really fun and everything, you're probably going to have a bad matchup somewhere with all of the different decks in Legends of Runeterra. And there, there we go. We saw that that was a very bad matchup. But besides that, um, this was just a really, really cool deck um, that just does, does some really cool things. So hope you all enjoyed this video because I definitely enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, give this one a try. If you want you want to do something different and have fun, just go a zillion. Go predict. Get a bunch of time bombs. Make your units really large with Xenotype Researchers. Keep recalling them. Put them back in your hand. Get, like, infinite value. It's a pretty awesome. So that's going to be Zillion Monastery, a great meme tier deck. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. What do you want to see next week on Meme Tier Monday? What, what, are, uh, what kind of meme tier decks have we not played yet? Y'all let me know. Um, and if you'd give this one a try yourself, hopefully y'all have a lot of fun with this just like we did. Hopefully, you know, let me know over there in the comment section how, uh, how did this one go for you? Uh, I'd appreciate it. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zillion Monastery. 
So thank you so much for watching. Right, pup, say thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you for the next video.